Hello and welcome, this is Ulysses Jimenez and today I'm going to teach you how to use the Google Fun API to enhance your websites. But first I will show you uh, the points that we're going to go through today. First, uh, what is the Google Fun API, Advantage advantages of using it, how to use it by choosing the font, the links, using the selected font, and we'll talk about uh, having always a backup plan, requesting multiple fonts, We'll talk about a, a, about a few tips, and at the end, we'll talk about font weights and styles. But first, uh, what is Google Fonts API? It is a web service that supports high-quality, open-source font files that can be used on your web designs easily. A uh, really good advantage of this is, like, unlike using images or CSS background image replacements, using a font face as a solution is more CEO-friendly. In addition to that, you don't need to modify away any of your existing content, so you just need to update the CSS pretty much. So right now we're gonna see how to use the Google Font API. We are gonna choose our font here. Uh, for this exercise, we're gonna choose Atomic H. Just go here, right click, and use. And as you can see, you can see the impact on the page load that is really minimum. But remember, if you use uh, many fonts, the page load is going to be a lot and it's not going to be good for your website. We go to step three here and we just copy this link here. Go to your text editor, paste it. I see where they have one copy there. And to see the difference of the text, we're going to make a copy of this. We're going to tag our first p tag with a class called atomic and we will stylist it right now to address this to change the font we just need to go back to the website and in step four you can see here this uh, text integrating the the font into your css we'll paste it here and now it should work. As you can see, the first paragraph has been changed to atomic, and the other one is still uh, Times New Roman. Now um, we will talk about the backup plans. As you can see here, uh, they always give you this uh, cursor here, or you can change it to serif, just in case uh, the server is down or something is is not ha is not working right you always have that uh, chance to put other text in there. Now, uh, another tip we're going to go through is using different uh, fonts. So let's say you want to use two more, one more. We're going to use uh, Quicksand. We're going to go to Use. And as you can see here, the pitch load has uh, added a little bit. And you can see that Quicksand has uh, bold and normal. So they have different weights. But as you can see here, the name of the two fonts are here together. So you don't need to put two different link tags. You can put all these uh, tags right there. So besides having two, you only have one right away. And we can address the other one by quicksand. And as the same as the other one, here they give you the two um, the two tags here, so you can choose either one. But for now, we're going to use the quicksand, and we're going to put it here. And now they both should have different fonts. And here you go. One showing the atomic and the other one showing the quicksand. Uh, remember, uh, so one tip is using too many fonts is one request in one request may slow down page response times. So load only the font you need. Just remember, just because it's, it's free doesn't mean that you need to go crazy with this. Uh, now we're going to talk about um, 
the fun weights and styles. If you if you want uh, a specific uh, weight on the font, you can add a semicolon right there. And we have uh, three ways to address uh, bold, italic, or you have the third option, bold and italic. If you want to address it in bold, just put a B, and you will be able to see the change right there. To change it to italic, just put it with an I, and there you go. If you want bold and italic at the same time, just put B and I, and this one didn't work. But that's how you, if the, if the font sustains this uh, attribute, they should have it like that. But that's the way it works. <clears throat> and now, uh, a tip that I, a lot of people don't know is that uh, if you want to use a specific font into a specific text, you can do it by doing so. Um, always putting uh, an symbol. Text equals to hello. And this should only change the word hello or the letters H E L L O O into the quicksand uh, format. So, right now we're going to just get rid of this one to see the change. And in the next example, these two words are going to change and other letters too. So, as you see, uh, the word here changes G, G, E. So in this case, if you really know where you're gonna change, uh, you can do it so, and the load time of the page will be uh, way faster. Like it's it says here that it can be maximized to a ninety percent. Uh, to end this, uh, Google API is a solution to the H O problem of typeface limitations on the web, and we thank you for this, Google. Thank you.